Thanks a lot. Uh, signs of hope on the economic horizon as home sales rose in the second quarter of 2009, but foreclosures remain a dark cloud and a different type of foreclosure problem is gaining ground. We're going to talk a little bit about that and explain the good news and the bad. Paul Valentino, president of the Greater Washington Colville Banker Residential Brokerage, is here with us today. Hey, Paul, how are you doing? Great. We have good news. which we is do. We have lots of good news to talk about with home sales. Absolutely. So we have a change from one quarter to the next. Home sales are up. Yep. What's the deal with that? What brought that up? Why are consumers willing to get into the market now? Well, four key drivers that we have in the market right now. Foreclosures, inventory, lack thereof, number of buyers in the marketplace, and the $8,000 tax credit. That's bringing a lot of people in. Bringing a lot of people yeah. in. Put all those together, and you've got Basic Econ 101, lower supply, more demand, pushing prices a little bit higher. Let's talk, you mentioned the foreclosures. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Right. Because before we've talked about a certain type of foreclosure, now we're, there's a different foreclosure that's on the market. Explain what that is. Yeah, foreclosures right now in the market in the second quarter especially took a hiatus. Not many on there. In fact, right now of the total listings currently available for sale in the DC Metro, about 5% of the market represented by foreclosed properties. So Were those people that like did 100% financing and just flat out were not able to afford yeah, it? Yeah, some of the people that should have remained tenants, mm -hmm. got into a home, shouldn't have in the first place, and that, that goes back to all the bad sins that yeah. were created a couple of years ago. Uh, right now, it's on hiatus, so we have 5%. Last year, the foreclosures, over 50% of the properties for sale were foreclosures. Now, what has that done? That has really dropped inventory all across the area, so now we have normal sellers selling their homes, moving up, leaving the area, retiring, whatever the case may be. Now, do you have a lot of people that are trying to do the short sales rather than foreclose? Short sales actually represent about 15% of mm -hmm. the market, and the challenge there to remember is that even if you're successful, in negotiating if, an, uh, and if is the big thing if's it a big one too because often. you have to get first approval from your lender mm -hmm. lender has to approve for you to uh, for them to look at a short sale if you get an offer once you have an offer ratified with another buyer you've got a deal going with a consumer they then need to approve again only 23 percent of those end up going to settlement that leaves 77 percent on the foreclosure front what advice would you give to folks because you know people see the price hey I gotta get in there I'm gonna get a great deal on a house but there's lots of buts here. What would you warn people about? Well, uh, this particular market is really challenging for somebody to go out there and look. You need to know your stuff. The greatest advice I can give you is work with a professional who understands foreclosures, especially short sales. They're two different animals completely. You have to understand what you're getting into. Look for those pitfalls. Uh, understand you're dealing with lenders who are selling properties all over the country, and they have a one-size-fits-all contract. You need to make sure that the contract you're signing in Maryland or D.C. and Virginia works in your jurisdiction. Much of what you're going to be asked to do as a purchaser is not allowable in those jurisdictions. They're going to ask you to do it. If you don't know any different, you're going to go right along. It's going to cost you money as a buyer. Uh, and if you are looking for a foreclosed home, we're going to talk about that in a minute. We do have lots of details on our website. But uh, uh, last but not least, I mean, any other advice you'd give to folks right now that are looking to buy a home? Because it sounds as if, and I read one of the emails that you that you sent, that people are actually on wait lists again. You're like outbidding and doing like bidding wars with people. I mean, yeah. hey, I thought that was something that happened two, three years ago, but that's back. It, it's back. It, it's back because there are so many buyers. Remember, the inventory is off about 26%. So you've got from last year, last year, like 26%. Fewer properties for sale, but more buyers in the marketplace now. Their confidence is growing, and they want to go out and shop, and they want to take advantage mm -hmm. of that $8,000 tax credit. Say, and time is running out, out on that one. Lots of incentives to get out there and buy. Right. Paul Valentino, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. Thank you. Uh, tease the web. I'll tease it again. You know, okay. we, we talked about uh, all, all that information, of course, is uh, out on our web for tips for foreclosures, how to pick out a home uh, that has been foreclosed on. All that is on our web, myfoxdc.com.